Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game and we're returning to our Fridays for Future Let's Play of Fate of the World, the climate change game. So the year is uh, 2075 and we're just coming out of a crisis where we've just last time seen that there was a big oil shortage in the world. Of course we are primarily trying to drive down emissions but of course we have to balance that against the economy and one of the points about the economy is that the oil production was declining for a couple of turns already. It has come down further but the oil consumption was really outstripping our, uh, our supply and that was causing big issues with big unemployment around the world and quite a bit of funding gap so that was a problem. Um, I think it has just gotten a little bit better. We can actually have a look at the GDP, see whether it, yeah, it was increasing slightly. You can see growth in GDP was slightly slower. Slightly slower is not bad, but we were, I think, at the cusp of a commercial um, banking crisis uh, due to the resource shortages, and that would really have wrecked our funding. So we've averted that crisis primarily by bringing down the oil consumption for the energy sector, and that, I think, is mostly in China, so let's actually look at China, and yes, you can see that one of our policies here was last time to decline the oil power usage, and we should see that in the electricity panel over here, where indeed the oil mix is now at 0%, and it was, yeah, so we were burning about uh, 6,000 whatever units of fuel, uh, oil, before, that has come down very significantly, mostly I think because we played this card, uh, also our uranium usage is much much more efficient now, so that is good news, and indeed we are committing to nuclear further over here so all in all I think a very good change over here and that is very nice to see that we're now free of the oil woes. Now that is only a short term fix. I think India also had a bit of an issue, a bit of an issue there. You are still burning oil but it should be less than before. And indeed yes we can see that the red bar over here has come down pretty significantly actually. Um, but we should also see that that is coming at the cost of oil Oh, sorry, at the cost of gas, so natural gas, and actually coal consumption. And coal consumption is something that we're trying to reduce very aggressively. Indeed, if we look back at China, one of the reasons why we had the uh, issue with the uh, oil burning is because over here, very early on, we started to decline coal power, and that was fairly successful um, at some point. But you can see that it was mostly, to, to a very large extent, replaced by oil consumption. Um, and that is what has been causing the issues. Of course, we've also been very aggressively committing to nuclear power in China. Which isn't without its problems. It definitely has some problems, which are also reflected in game. But um, at the very least, it was we were able to, to sort of caution off the rise in energy consumption here uh, with nuclear power without uh, committing to more emissions. So that was good. Uh, there's also a little bit of a weird thing going on in this coming down again and that is because uranium power is much more efficient now uh, and the way that the game handles is that there's simply an uplift between the energy resources produced quote unquote um, and consumed so there's a difference here and that is mainly due to that. It should be smaller in other geographies, yeah. Right, so in India we still do burn a lot of oil so that is fine. In North America and in the Middle East we have been expanding the oil production. I think we can skip this in North America um, and just be happy with that so yeah global gas production is also rising and that is good to see but yeah also in Southeast Asia I think we were expanding the biofuels and I do want to check on whether that does anything measurable uh, because that would be rather nice so I think it should be under oil shouldn't it uh, no synthetic oil biocrop fuels that should have gone up yes it's gone up very very significantly so that is good news. We are now creating more oil from, or biofuels basically, uh, from bio crops. So that's good because that firstly decreases emissions, but it's also giving us an alternative source of fuel. Um, although, on the other hand, it's really not that significant. It's only a couple of thousand units that are being produced annually. Can we actually have a look at this? No, not directly. That's unfortunate, but we can look at the synthetics. So yeah, we've doubled this in the last turn, which is good, which is really, really good. But we should also keep in mind that that is decreasing local food. But we're still way in Southeast Asia, uh, way above the average. Um, actually, Japan is, is in a bit of an issue because it's too low, as is North America, apparently. Um, and the reason for that is primarily that in Japan, we are deploying sulfur aerosols. Uh, these ruin uh, the agricultural economy, uh, but they do push down... A global temperature and the same in North America so that's really the reason why 
uh, both of these areas have such a low local food per capita ratio. But yeah, it's something that we do need to keep in mind. Right, for now I think in Southeast Asia we can continue to produce biofuels and that's going to be fine. Lovely. Okay, so um, let's actually go ahead and, and check on the various regions and what we can do in them. Sometimes we should be replacing um, some, or we should be taking care of impending natural disasters as far as we are aware of them. And of course we should look at the annual emissions, because emissions are still extremely high. Um, and we've, we've been able to bring them down a little bit. But not significantly. This is this is a small change of maybe 10% or so, and these are still net emissions to the atmosphere. You can see North America we reduced fairly rapidly, Europe we reduced fairly rapidly, but these were taken up by Southern Africa, China, um, and Latin America, and India most importantly. Maybe we're taken off is the wrong word. And um, I think if we hadn't reduced this, uh, we would be in a world of pain now as, as global emissions uh, do increase. Temperature is at 2.2 degrees above uh, pre-industrial levels. At 3 degrees we'd be losing the game, so we do need to take in that into account. Right, and I think the biggest emitters are currently India, followed by Southern Africa and China. Now in India, let's have a look at what's causing the emissions over here. It's mostly the energy consumption, a little bit of everything else, but really is energy and, and in energy we are still using a lot of oil, we are still using a lot of coal most importantly and potentially coal is even increasing, yeah it is. So that is a big issue. We are trying to commit to nuclear power over here so that I think is okay. We do I think need to continue to decline oil power, um, but yeah we'll have to see what we can do. I think what I would definitely like to do though is get advanced turbines. We should be able to get that via technology. We could wait about 30 years, but this is going to have some very, very positive effects for us. Advanced drilling I'm not super excited about. Quantum computing might be nice, but it's not essential uh, for now. I do think the advanced turbines are essential because they do give more, more uh, basically, more efficiency to coal, oil, gas, uranium and all of that. So um, that is nice to see. We'll try to get that GDP increase. I don't think it's that important. Well, we are very... We are close to the magic boundary of 12,000 that the game considers uh, to be a very significant uh, step, so we might keep that in mind. Coal-free industry would be extremely good. We could also try to increase uh, the ratio of renewables, and I do think that we have concentrated photovoltaic cells, so that might make a certain amount of sense. Force generation nuclear conversion would be good to see as well. Quantum computing. Good private investment, one-child policy. I don't think one-child policy is that essential, but we might want to do a transport efficiency because we probably do lag or still are using a lot of that. And I do think the other thing that we would want over here is actually the protected land and soil. It's fairly expensive, so let's keep that in mind. Maybe we'll shift out of it. But it would be nice to do some reforestation just to just to get rid of all of these emissions and actually a lot of these emissions are probably coming from uh, the forestry sector. Do you see that over here? Yeah, forestry. And that is to a large extent uh, currently I think fires in North America and Latin America so maybe we'll be able to reduce that a little bit. So China. China is... oh actually we didn't check the news in India so we should check that. So yeah we've seen a couple of things. We are, have required some technology that's nice to see. Carbon that's good. Yeah crippling forest legislation that's not good but okay. Water stress obviously isn't isn't that great. This is very good news so we are how now have some sea walls and people do like us more for that reason. Uh, so that is good to see. Peace reigns. A lot of sickness due to uh, the stuff that is still in the atmosphere. So we do need to continue to decline coal power and I think that's alright. And yeah, all in all I consider this a fairly good build up. Right, uh, let's have a look at China. So we did acquire some new technology. There's some water stress which isn't great. Heading in the right direction is good to see. A lot of these are good news so I'm not going to read through all of these in detail. Uh, but all in all we do see some very positive aspects over here. In particular getting the aerosols so that will allow to also grab advanced turbines which I think is going to be great as is probably quantum computing uh, because China obviously has a very very high economy already it currently has 21% of the global economy so 
actually quantum computing would increase our budget by, by a very significant amount. Actually, how much of our money do we get from uh, China? So where's China? China and East Asia. So yeah, our income from here is actually the highest that we're getting anywhere in the world, including North America. So yes, it's definitely going to be worthwhile to spend more money uh, to to spend uh, the fifty dollars here to acquire quantum computing, and we're also going to get the advanced turbines. That does fill out all of our cards. I do think transport efficiency makes sense. Committing to nuclear further makes sense. Cap and trade makes sense, as do the business and household carbon rates. I would like to do other things as well, including in particular the vegetarian revolution, because if we do look at the emissions over here, you can see that actually a very, very large extent of that does come uh, from the agricultural sector, and that is isn't entirely great. Vegetarian revolution would go a long way to, to help us out there. Uh, but I'm, well, you know what, let's get rid of the transport efficiency and go for the vegetarian revolution trying to reduce uh, the carbon footprint over here. Southern Africa, here I think we are trying to do something slightly differently. So Southern Africa is one of the worst regions when it comes to emissions at this time uh, in the game. So this is 16% of world emissions that are coming from here and that is to a very very large extent due to energy production and energy production here is predominantly coal. We are trying to build up renewables I think and we can see that they are starting to make some impact but it's really, really tiny. Uh, for the largest extent, it's still cold. So, and we're also seeing that some of the first efficiency programs are taking hold over here. So, especially the business and household carbon regs and the industrial regulations. Uh, both of these should be reducing, uh, yeah, the energy efficiency drive and other things, stability, yeah, and the retrofish. Retrofits slash energy waste cut, so that is an, a result of the business carbon regulation, so that's nice to see. We're also continuing the vegetarian revolution over here, so less meat, that means uh, less water usage and all of that, so that's nice to see. And solar technology, all of that is very good. Right, so we could try to commit to nuclear power over here, but nuclear power does have some disadvantages. Uh, most importantly, it does use um, uranium, which isn't, isn't really great for us. So what I'd really like to do is actually get more more renewable sources. So here in South Africa, I think this is a good place to, to really try to get to renewable technologies right from the bat um, and, and acquire these. Uh, are there any further technologies that we would want to grab? I don't think we need any of these. Maybe the Super Tensile? Maybe the super smart grids are going to be useful, but I don't think we have researched them yet. But we will research them fairly soon. So we might as well acquire quantum computing now and then switch over to that in a little while. So this is the technology tree, of course. So yeah, let's go for quantum computing. The earlier we get it, the earlier we get the benefits of the funding from over here. Although we really don't think that Southern Africa does contribute a lot. It does contribute a little bit. Certainly it's a net sink uh, of money, but overall I'm fine. I, I think this is a very good setup over here. Right, so we've been sort of going by the emissions over here. So China, India, Southern Asia. Let's go for the Middle East and South Asia next. So, um, sorry, Middle East. Any news over here? Nothing that should influence us too, too badly. Ooh, what's this? Chain and tight gas band. I don't quite remember doing this, but it's good to see that it did happen. Right. Expand oil production. I think this is something that we do want to keep. We could actually turbine tax over here, so that would actually give us more money, and I'm tempted to do this because people do like us here fairly fairly well, so all in all, that wouldn't be a too bad idea. Right. Other than that, though, is there more that we do need? So firstly, in technology, ooh, we don't have smart grids over here. Yeah, but we will be getting that in five turns anyway. I think we might be going trying to get for aerosols so that we get the, to the advanced turbines soon. Second generation biofuels in the Middle East, we're not going to grow many crops. But acquire smart grids, I think, is a smart choice. Sorry, not smart grids, aerosols is what we need. Smart grids we're going to get anyway. Right, aerosols. Yeah, there we go. Fine, this is okay. Um, we don't 
I can't really do that much more. Potentially, potentially eco aware. And, well, I don't really want you to be eco aware because I want to continue the, the oil expansion over here. So we do need to keep that in mind. We could buy one more card and, and play one more thing, but I probably want to do this somewhere over here rather than in uh, the Middle East, where we do already have quite a couple of cards. Right, a lot of research being done, carbon cash being put to good use, eco-awareness here on our balance, so we might as well skip that. I don't want you to be too green, because that does give uh, yield uh, other problems. And second generation biofuels, agricultural crop expansion, wait, yes, 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 that's now, that's very good. Deep gas and nuclear pro proliferation. So, I think it would potentially make sense to acquire the high yield crops over here. So that would give us this next turn. Well, the advanced turbines are also nice, as are the photovoltaic cells. And as is quantum computing, actually. Well, high yield crops, we're gonna get that fairly soon anyway. Could go for vegetarian revolution over here as well. Ooh, business and household carbon regulations, and actually industrial regulations. Yeah, these, these are excellent policies that I do think make a lot of sense over here. You know what, let's actually buy another card slot over here so that we can do more things. And I think what we want to do is do Vegetarian Revolution. It's fairly cheap um, and I do think that as we are continuing to produce more and more biofuels over here, it potentially does make a lot of sense to reduce simply the agricultural footprint. Yeah, so I think that makes a lot of sense, right. Good. Other than that, um, let's actually check uh, Latin America, North America. So Latin America, deforestation is slowed, that's nice to see. Meat free future, so you're also going vegetarian, that's nice to see. Everything else seems to be fine. Yeah, really not that much to be said over here. Where are your well, forestry, but I think that's mostly due to wildfires. Is there anything we can do against those? We could do adaptation, but it's not its not drastically important. Could do coal-free industry, which would be nice. We can actually sell finance over here with more turbine tax. That might not be the worst. Smart grids are going to come in next turn. I think we got a message. Might have been a fluke, though. Could try to get to aerosols. Now, for now, I think it's fine. North America, then. Are there any good news over here? No. Forestry, but at least it's halved, so that's nice. Investments in industrial emissions are going are paying off. That's good to see. Old reactors being replaced. Quantum computing storms. So we do need to keep an eye on for storms. Let's see whether we can do anything against that. Not really. We have adapted as as well as we can uh, but I do think we probably want wildlife conversation famine relief since we're not unstable over here I don't think there's a genuine threat of, of famine in North America so we might as well keep that as is we're still researching energy and infotech over here so that's great super smart grids are, are gonna be extremely important so that's nice to see all right let's go over to Europe which is actually our headquarter. Here we are researching nanotech. We are gonna get photovoltaic cells next to anyway. Quantum computing might be nice. Advanced turbines would certainly be very nice. In terms of news, there's not that much to see. You're heading in the right direction. There's a draw chance or risk. So yeah, we might actually have to keep an eye on the draw aspects over here. Well, we could find something. Could do water management as well, but I don't think it's is required. Coal-free, we, we actually don't have coal-free industry. Actually, what was the... Ooh, electric transport. As efficient as possible, possible. so that's nice to see. Uh, we did spend some efforts in trying to reduce the oil usage over here. And hopefully that does pay off. So the oil usage, yeah, did come down dramatically. Especially for transport, that's nice to see. So all of this is now being uh, electric transport, and that potentially means, pardon me, that electricity consumption is going up, is it? Yes it is, but not by much. 
So yeah, that's fun to see. It's a little bit of oil. It's a, some gas, some oil. Uranium hydrogeothermal. Not too drastic, actually. We could do potentially trying to commit to nuclear power. Well, all the advanced turbines, really. But they might not be that important. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Eco awareness. Advanced. You're gonna get that anyway next turn, so that's nice. Quantum computing. How much are we getting actually from Europe? Potentially some some money, isn't it? Yeah, quite a bit. Income down actually. Why is income down? Unemployment is fairly high over here. Commerce ex commerce is extreme. But it's good to see it coming down. Ooh, I think because we are potentially playing turbine tax over here. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Um, and that should still be fine, I think. Reduce working week. I think we should play the coal-free industry. I don't think the coal, the industry is using that much coal over here. Um, but I might be wrong on this. No, it's not that much. This is not a lot of emissions. So yeah, let's, let's not play that. Right, I think actually what may, might make the most sense over here is protect the land and soil. Or acquire quantum computing. Okay, let's go for the money. I like to build up my economy. Right, I think that makes some sense. So, that does leave Northern Africa. A very difficult country for us, or region for us. You can campaign your actual communal, so we should stop this. Peace reign, smart grids being researched. Nice, nice, nice. Storm could have been worse. There is more storm coming. So, we do need to keep that in mind. Is there? Yes, we can build improved storm defenses, so let's actually do that. Where are your missions coming from? Somewhat high emissions, mostly coming from energy. Very little coal, some oil, mostly gas. I think it might make sense to, as in South Africa, try to, try to get directly to sustainable fuels over here. So that's potentially trying to get to photovoltaic cells fairly rapidly just by blitzing through this. So yeah, let's actually go here and acquire CCS, I think. That should be the first one. Yes. Right, quantum computing, I don't think is that important. Advanced turbines, that's just two away, but there's no point in acquiring aerosols. Could do land and soil. I think that might make some sense. Yeah, let's do this. Great! Right, so first Asia we did, Japan we haven't done. Any any bad news? Yes indeed, there's more drought and people dislike us a little bit more. It's unstable, but not very unstable, so I think we'll be fine over here. Yeah, nothing really bad happening, so that's okay. I think we can get rid of this. Actually, what news did we get about the... Okay, so you are turning in the right direction now, so that should support us a little bit. And we are seeing more draw chance, so we could do adaptation to that. But you know what? I do think I want to go with wildlife conversation. conservation. Right, and in Oceania, joblessness is extremely high. That's bad. People do like us, dislike us for that. Right, other than that though, things are fairly okay. So you know what, I'm gonna buy another card slot over here and we are gonna go for the job sharing initiative. I think this should help the economy a little bit. Unemployment is fairly high, but we might be alright. It's actually a lot of refugees coming in here. And we are still funding third generation biofuel research over here, which is a very, very good research, so I think I'm fairly happy with this. So we could buy one more one more agent card. Potentially, where would we buy it? I think we might want to buy it in... We, we are... Fa Ooh! We haven't actually looked at Russia, I think. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit bad. Right, you're producing gas, which I think is fine. Actually, all of your things here are pretty good. So we 
could buy an agent over here. Do we want that though? I mean, things are fairly okay over here, so we don't actually need to rush this. Very stable. Yeah, no, I, th I think I'm fine with this. And you don't actually have that high... That high... Production of anything. I think Latin America may, might make the most sense. We have got five agents in all of the other places that do commit any particular... Any, any significant amount, so you know what? Let's buy a card over here, and since people do somewhat like us, let's play Tobin Tax, and that does leave us with enough money to to play to buy another agent somewhere, and I think it's going to be in the Middle East. Yeah, there we go. Recruit Middle East. Do have 55. What are we going to do with this? We could acquire smart grids. No, that will happen anyway. Aerosols, carbon. Let's go for carbon capture and storage because ultimately we want to go to photovoltaic cells over here. And that should be okay. Right, so CCS it is. And that does leave us with very little money. And I think we can take the next turn over here and see what's going to happen. So emissions are still coming up a little bit. Rice. That's an increase of eh, not much, but at least a little bit. Temperature is rising as well. Not good. And by 2100, so just in 20 years or so, we'd be very close to losing the game actually. Anything else? A breakthrough in benthic depressurization. Uh, this is a little bit of a double-edged sword, really, because it, it's not strictly good. Right, North America coming down greatly. That's because of the wildfires have ended over here. China's actually uh, not decreasing quite as quickly as we would have hoped to see. People overall do like us, especially in Oceania, which I appreciate a lot, so that's nice to see. And actually, we got um, we we got an achievement over here, peso profits, because uh, we were doing turbine taxes in South America, so that's nice to see. Uh, global population growing a little bit, and the overall emissions are we're coming up a little bit. No, they're actually coming down. That's nice to see. So for the first time, I feel we are seeing a significant drop over here in global emissions. And where's that drop actually coming from? It's not coming from China or the Middle East. A little bit from South Africa, so it's nice to see are succeeding over there and India. India is decreasing by a very very significant margin over there. North America yes because the wildfires ended so that's nice to see. But yeah actually India is coming down and let's briefly before we end the episode check why these emissions are coming down specifically. I think it's mostly due to the energy usage. Energy is, is dropping very significantly over here while all of the other emissions are coming up actually so yeah. So let's check the electricity. Why is that? Potentially due to nuclear, isn't it? Yeah, so oil is dropping and it's mostly being replaced by, I think, a little bit of coal, but mostly uranium. In in effect, we, we don't re quite see this uh, because, again, of this multiplier between these two numbers. But, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this result. This is the first time that we are making some progress over here. Still, people do not like us overall that much in all of the regions. Uh, but yeah, first time we're seeing a drop in emissions, but not a drop in temperature. Temperature is still going up because this is still adding more and more to the atmosphere, uh, even though it's adding less to the atmosphere, but still adding on top of what's uh, already in it. So yeah, very happy to see this. Um, let's see whether we can repeat that next week and, and whether we can actually bring, bring down emissions now in a sustainable manner. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.